This is the Sofren SP31V3, a compact tactical flashlight. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. Before we get started, I just want to thank Sofren for sending out the SP31V3 so that I could share it with you. So as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light, its physical and performance specifications. Then we'll get outside and do some demonstrations. All right, just before we focus in on the light itself, let me share with you what it came with. So this is the box the light arrived in. Inside the box, the all-important manual with warranty information small Ziploc bag containing a lanyard and a pair of spare O-rings and a USB Type-C charging cable. This is the longer one that Sofren offers, one meter in length, kind of nice for a change as well. Also on the light, of course, is a removable uh, pocket clip and inside the light is a 3000 milliamp hour 18650 lithium ion battery. Before moving on, I just want to address the issue of this being referred to as a tactical flashlight. So this is, in fact, the third light from three different companies to have the same operating system that I have been sent for review. And the reason they call this a tactical flashlight is primarily because it has a tail cap switch. But let's be clear, this is only on and off. That's all the tail cap switch does. If you want to change lumen settings or mode, you have to use the side switch. The side switch does not turn the light on or off. And it's that combination that uh, allows companies to refer to this as a tactical flashlight. It is not. At least in my opinion and my experience, this does not serve as a tactical flashlight. It may be a good EDC flashlight, and as we go through, I'll let you decide that. But for tactical situations, no, it will not work, at least in my opinion. The reason I say that is, yes, it's nice to have instant access to the light being turned on and off, and it is a momentary switch as well as a full-on switch. But the light settings, you have to predetermine before you turn the light on, which means if you want it at the highest or turbo setting, you have to have that set up for that. If you want it at the lowest, like a moonlight setting, you have to have it set up to that. You cannot choose before turning the light on which setting it will be. You also have to use this button for accessing strobe, SOS, or beacon. Strobe, yes, is a tactical application. Uh, SOS and beacon, they're not. They're just add-ons to this. May make it a good EDC, but certainly not a tactical flashlight. And I'm pointing this out for a reason. I would like very much for flashlight makers to stop making lights that have these features and call them tactical flashlights. Lights. Again, it may well be a good EDC flashlight. We'll see as we go along. All right, let's go through the physical specifications for this light. To start with, the LED is an SST340, and it has a Kelvin rating of between 6,000 and 6,500. And as you see when we'll get it outdoors, it is quite white bright almost to the cool side. Now overall length is 122 millimeters, diameter is 25 millimeters, weight with the battery installed of course is 128 grams. It does have a dust proof waterproof rating of IP68 and an impact rating of 1 meter. Now as far as the performance specifications go for this light, we'll start at the top. It has a turbo of 2000 lumens, which will last for 5 minutes before the heat protection circuitry drops it down to 800 lumens, and that will last for an additional 1 hour 55 minutes. It has a high setting of 900 lumens, which is rated to last 2 hours and 10 minutes, a medium setting of 300 lumens, rated to last 5 hours 50 minutes, and a low of 15 lumens rated to last 120 hours, and a moonlight setting of one lumen rated to last 550 hours. Now it does have a strobe, which will run at the full 2,000 lumens, an SOS, which will run at 300 lumens, and a beacon, which will run at 2,000 lumens. Now, as far as the operation of the Sofren SP31 V3, as mentioned earlier, on and off is accomplished through the tail cap switch, either through a half press for momentary on and off or a full press to lock it on and off. All the changes in lumen settings must be done from the side switch. So in order to do that, I first turn the light on and then I can run through the cycle of the um, lumen settings by quick tapping. That would be turbo, or that's turbo, sorry, low, medium, high, and turbo. And to turn it off again, 
use the tail cap switch. Now, if I want to access the moonlight mode, I press both the, the tail cap switch and the side switch at the same time. And there you can see I'm in the moonlight mode. Now, if I turn it off again and use it on again, it goes to whatever the last lumen setting was before that. Now, if I want to access strobe, SOS, and beacon, I first turn the light on, then I press and hold, and it will go into strobe. If I press and hold again, it goes into beacon. And if I do it again, it goes into the slower but very bright strobe. In order to turn that off in, in any of those three settings, I must use the tail cap switch so I can get back to the other lumen settings. All right, we'll start the Sofren SP31 V3 off on medium. You know, the, there is a hot spot, and then it fades nicely into flood. So it's a nice combination between the two. I wouldn't call it a real thrower, but neither is it a real floodlight. We'll take it up another level to high. Let's start to light the back up. Bear it up pretty well. My yard, neighbor's yard, and then turbo. Again, not a long cast, but quite a bit of floodlight to combine nicely with that central hot spot. All right, a few closing thoughts for the Sofren SP31 V3. So what do I really like about this light? Well, despite my misgivings about this being referred to as a tactical flashlight, for me, I actually think it works fairly well as an EDC flashlight. For an 18650 battery, this is quite small and has quite a bit of power to it, 2,000 lumens. And as you saw when we got it outside, it is mostly a directed spotlight with some flood. Nice, clean white light as well. So it does have a lot of value as an EDC light. I can live with the fact that I have to use the side button to change lumens and then just use the tail cap switch for turning it on and off. In fact, that's why I think it does work as an EDC light. I don't always want turbo. I don't always want moonlight. I can set it at low, medium, and high, leave it there, and then it's just simply pressing the tail cap switch to use that. But that same functionality does not work as a tactical flashlight, and that's why I wouldn't recommend this as a tactical flashlight to you, but if you're interested in a simple to operate and still functional EDC flashlight, yeah, I think it would work quite well in that mode for use. All right, that's my thoughts on this light, but I'm interested now in hearing what your thoughts on this light are. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section below. I'll put the links to where you can take another look at this light in the video description, along with all its specifications. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.